So apparently, Jane rents inner tubes, and based on her past experience, she is assigned the following probability distribution to the number of tubes she will rent randomly on a selected day. So the first question is asking us, in part A, to find P of X equals 75. So in regular people language, that means the probability that X is going to equal 75. So the probability that she's going to sell 75 inner tubes that day. So we simply need to look where X is 75, which is right there, which means it'll be the probability will be 0.30. B is asking us to find the probability that she will sell, or that X will be less than or equal to 75. So the probability that she's going to sell either exactly 75 or this means less than 75. So 25 is less than, so we need to include that one. 50, of course, is less than 75. And of course, 75 is exactly equal to 75. So we're going to add those three probabilities together. which means that the probability of getting of selling either less than 75 or equal to 75 is 0.90. And I'm going to stop right here for a second and skip to this part E which which probability expressions is a value of the CDF. CDF stands for cumulative distribution function. And those are basically a great big old word that stands for anything, any values that are less than or equal to a certain value. So less than or equal, that symbol right there. So if I'm answering part E, I would say that part B is the one that has um, a CDF that's a value because it's the only one, and if I look in my other questions, I'll see this one has just a greater than symbol, that one has just a less than symbol, part B, or this one had an equal to symbol, so part B was the only one that had a less than or equal to symbol, so that is the one that is the CDF. Okay, so part C is now asking us to find the probability that X is greater than 50. Um, so we are not going to include 50, right? Because this is saying X is greater than 50. So this one would be greater than 50 because it's 75. And this one is greater than 50. So we're going to add those two probabilities together and get 0.40. And the last one that we haven't done yet is D. So the probability that X is less than 100. So we're not going to include the 100 because this is saying X is less than 100. So not going to include that one. But I do need the 75, the 50, and the 25 and all the probabilities that go with those. So that will be 0.20 plus point forty plus point thirty, which gives us a total of point ninety.